Okay, Martin. So for you being a success coach, right? Mm -hmm. Were you coaching the people? Do you get people? Would you? Would, do you get clients that have a that they come to you and say that they want to start a business or they want to, you know, um, do something different, but they're scared. They don't. They don't know what to do. Yeah. Um, so how, what, how do you help these people work through these fears? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Without a doubt. Um, I, of course, get people that are afraid, so to speak. First of all, let's understand this: fear uh, is 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 natural. Um, everybody has some form of a fear, and believe it or not, you know you should have some form of a fear. You don't be too fearless where you you you, you just jump off a cliff, um, you know. Um, so. Understand this, but mostly what we're talking about when we're talking about people and their fears. A lot. What I tell people is, the fear is is fear of the unknown. It's fear because you're going somewhere you've never been before. Um, it's kind of like a blind date. Something in you says, you know, you haven't dated, but whether you're a man or a woman, you're like, look, you know, I need some companionship. Um, uh, and, you know, you, 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 but you're going into it blind. You know, you met this person through social media, but now you're about to meet them in real life. And so there is a fear, you know. But the, the reality is a lot of us let the fear control us. So there's a lot of people that say, you know what? I'm just going gonna, gonna to stay single. Then, then, you know, you don't have even the courage to go on the date. Right now, this man or woman could be the person that changes your whole life. Well, that fear is in your mind; it's in your subconscious mind. That fear is a part of your paradigm. What's a paradigm? A paradigm is a set of mental programs that, for the most part, controls every facet of your life. Meaning that fear controls everything that you do because it's a fear of not knowing what the outcome will be. Right. Now, the reason why people, they say what, they don't know what the outcome will be is because they've already thought that it will be negative, right? So when you, what you're afraid of is you're afraid of failing, so to speak. You're afraid of something not working. Well, what you have done already is given power to the failure because all you're seeing is failure. Successful people, they encounter fear also we encounter fear like i tell people yeah i encounter fear all the time but i go through the fear how am i able to go through the fear because my mind is fixated on the goal the result and the result that i'm going to get is positive right so if i have to go and i'm talking to somebody and this could be a million dollar deal i'm all, i'm focusing on the result the result is this million dollars you see what I'm saying? So even though I'm like, wow, this is, whew, I got to talk to this person. This is going to be tough, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to let that fear stop me from getting that result that I want. Do you understand? And so this happens throughout life. This happens in marriage a lot. <clears throat> People let fear stop them. And then they don't communicate with the, with the spouse. Well, in business, uh, I tell people all the time, you have to go through the fear, right? There's really nothing to fear but fear itself, as they see. Um, and so the other side of fear is success. Once you get past the fear and you go for it, you have already set on a path of success. Like the moment you say, you make the decision and say, I'm going to start my business, and then you sit down and you start writing out your business plan. The moment, the, that's why I say write it out. Because when you see it, it becomes visual, right? And so you wrote it out and now it's visual. But the moment I start writing my plans, I'm conquering my fear. So that's what I tell people. You have to get physically involved in the action, right? What's inside you is a spirit, but you are still a physical being. So therefore, your spirit and your mind have to all come together. The mind, body, and the soul, and the spirit have to all be one. And you got to physically start writing it out. The moment you put it on paper, you're setting on the path of success. 
Then, you, then it goes from the paper and it goes into a, a deeper physical action. You might say, well, I need to go get my business license or I might have to go apply for these classes. Then you physically start going to the class. Then what happens, you know, the fear starts to go away because you start to encounter other people that are kind of like you. And then, you, 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 you know, comfort comes and the fear starts to go away. The sad thing is most people never make it to that point. They're controlled by the lesser things in their mind, those fears. They let the fears control them, and thus they just conform, and they stay on their job or whatever it is, and they never do anything that's really fulfilling because of fear, right? So they never taste success, and the opposite of success is not failure. The opposite of success is conformity. The opposite of success is just conforming to what everyone else says you should do. Right? See, all of your successful people heard the same things that you hear. They all had a sister, brother, friend that told them, man, don't waste your time on that. Do this. You can make some good money. You're going to be all right. Right? Everyone has heard the same story. Right? But what the successful people identified with, what's for them is for them. See, when I started this business, I realized that other people, they couldn't relate to it. But it's not their vision. This is, this is my vision, right? So I, I, I can't let the chatter of other people say, I wouldn't invest my money into helping and coaching and teaching people. Man, you're doing fine. Shoot, you, you make plenty of money. You're wealthy already. Why would you invest in something like that? Just keep stacking money. Well, to me, me being happy with making a bunch of money every year and having multiple businesses, that is not the version of success for me. What I'm doing now is success for me. And so you as an individual have your version of success for you, right? The moment that you let any outside source or those lower thoughts control you, you're just conforming. So as a success coach, like I always tell people, success is the progressive realization of a worthy idea. So you have to block out the fears and just keep going. So have you ever felt fear? Wait. Did you have, have you ever had, um, had to overcome fear or have you ever not done a business or a project or something because of fear or self-doubt? Right, yeah. You know, I've been in business, uh, you know, a long time. And without a doubt, I've, I've had fear. Without a doubt, I've blown opportunities for fear. Um, because, you know, self-mastery is a process. So I'm where I'm at today, of course, I wasn't there 10, 15 years ago. But what happens is experience is a teacher. And so what I realized is as I blew opportunities from fear, I looked back and said, dang, I could have done it. Or I seen someone else doing it. And, and guess what? They, they looked at me and said, man, I understand why you quit. I understand why you stopped. You know, and I didn't want to come out and say I was afraid. But I knew that I was afraid, right? And so I know now today that I do not let fear dictate me. I don't let fear control me and you shouldn't let it control you. You don't ever want to be a person that's 70, 80 years old, sitting on your porch rocking, talking about what you could have done. Looking on TV saying, you know, I used to play ball with him, you know, but I, I quit college and he went on. Or, you know, you see that beautiful lady? Yeah, you know, I dated her in high school. And everybody's saying, yeah, right, man. Nobody's going to believe you. You know why nobody believes you? Who cares about a woulda, coulda, shoulda? People only care about results, right? So when I'm coaching people, I'm, I'm showing you how to get results. The way you get results is you walk through the fear. You go through it. Don't be afraid of failing. That's nothing. Everybody fails. I failed thousands of times, right? But I'm not a failure. I'm a winner. Do you understand what I'm saying? When you think about 
basketball and you see how many shots Michael Jordan took, I don't even think he made 50% of them. So he probably missed more shots than he made. But yet he's got six rings on his fingers. You understand? So the best at whatever you're doing, realize they're not controlled by the fear. They're thinking about the result of what they want. So that's what I tell people. Stay focused on the result and then you'll walk through the fear.